Hello guys, in the previous video, we set up our Hello AR app. If you haven't watched it yet, then I recommend you to pause this video right here and watch the previous video of this series. I will put a link to the video in the description box, so just check it out if you haven't watched it. And if you have, then let's continue. In the previous video, we added the dependency of scene form without actually knowing what it does. So scene form is used to render 3D scenes in AR and non-AR apps without you actually having to learn anything about OpenGL. So now you know about scene form. So we will create a new sample data directory. Right click, new sample data directory. Why sample data directory? Because whatever goes inside this sample data directory is not included in the final APK. So we don't actually have our 3D model, which we are going to render in our first AR app. So we will download the 3D model from Google. Search for poly.google.com. Arctic Fox I am choosing an Arctic Fox but you can choose whatever you like Download the OBJ file The OBJ file I already have downloaded the OBJ file so I won't do this So you download the OBJ file and extract it After it gets downloaded and copy the, copy the obj and the mtml file included in the folder Con command c and we'll paste this in sample data directory press ok now we will import the scene form asset from the obj file because we cannot directly render the obj file we have to convert the, the obj file to sfa and sfb so it's really easy to do it just right click on the obj file import scene form asset and then finish and let the gradle build So this is our fox. You can see it from the viewer which gets added when you install the SceneForm plugin. If you don't see it, it means that you haven't installed SceneForm plugin. You can also do some changes to this 3D model from this file. You can make it more metallic or you can decrease the roughness. Let's try decreasing the roughness and after change, after typing whatever changes you have done to save it, press command S or control S in windows. You can also decrease its size by changing the values of the scale attribute. Okay, so we have our 3D model, so we can add the, our 3D model in the real scene in the scene form scene open up your activity main.xml file remove the text view which says hello world and change the root element to relative layout for our convenience add a fragment set width and height to match parent id ar fragment and name will be com.google.sceneform not sceneform ar.sceneform dot ux dot ar fragment 
open up the main activity.java file private ER fragment this will hold a reference to the ER fragment in the activity main file so AR fragment equals get support fragment manager find fragment by id r dot id dot AR fragment we get an error here so press alt enter and cast click on the first option cast to AR fragment we'll set AR fragment on tap AR plane listener so set on tap AR plane listener nice hit test result this for those who don't know what this new thing is well this is a new feature in Java 8 where instead of writing instead of writing these lines these many lines you can just replace it by just uh, adding the variable names in the brackets in the parentheses and using the lambda sign so this thing this whole thing this whole thing is same as this thing this one right here so whatever code goes inside these parentheses these curly braces will be executed when user taps on a plane which gets detected by AR fragment so whenever a, whenever AR fragment detects a plane it it will show some dots on the white dots on the plane and when user taps on the white dots it will call this function now from this hit result variable from whatever value this variable contains will create an anchor 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 equals not new hit result dot create anchor now you must be wondering what anchor really is so anchor is used to describe a fixed location and orientation in the real world so this anchor can be used for us to overlay or to render our 3d model on top of it so our our 3d model will be displayed will be rendered on top of this anchor so now we have the anchor we can build our 3d model so to build a 3d model to build a model you will have to write model renderable dot builder dot set source set source takes two parameters this and uri to the our to our arctic uh, to our 3d model which is stored in a in the assets folder so type u uri dot parse what's the name it's our arctic fox underscore post dot sfb arctic fox post dot sfp and then dot build uh, we have built the model so we need to accept it to accept it we will use the function then accept and just type model renderable the lambda sign I told you about the braces so we will render the uh, our model renderable our which we have accepted by building the model now so we'll create a function add model to scene and we will pass two parameters here first one will be the anchor where we have to render our model and the second one is the model itself 
and if you want to know if any error has been occurred then you can do it by calling the exceptionally uh, function dot exceptionally and it returns a throwable so whenever an error occurs we'll show the er error in an alert dialog we'll create an alert dialog dot builder builder equals new this builder dot set message throwable dot get message and dot show we will return null now let's create this uh, function so press alt enter and create method add model to scene we'll create an anchor node anchor node equals to new anchor node on the anchor now you must be wondering what this anchor node is so anchor node is a node that automatically positions in world space based on its ar core anchor so it will position itself this anchor node will position itself based on this anchor and what is this anchor this is the anchor which has been created from hit result dot create anchor so wherever user has tapped on the ar plane an anchor has been created and and that anchor we are creating an anchor node on top of this anchor so this anchor node if you are uh, this anchor node cannot be zoomed in or its position cannot be changed by swiping on the screen of your mobile phone so to to achieve something which can a node which can be zoomed in or zoomed out or its po its position can be moved we have to create a transformable node transformable node equals to ar fragment i mean not ar fragment new transformable node ar fragment dot get transformation system we will set its parent to anchor node so this transformable node is now a child of this anchor node so wherever this anchor node has been placed this transformable node will also be placed there we have the we have set it to its parent now we need to add the model to the transformable node so transformable node dot set renderable our model renderable will go as a parameter in this now our nodes have been created we just have to place it in our ar we have to add this to the scene so to do that type ar fragment dot get get ar scene view dot get scene add child anchor node remember always the parent will go here otherwise the model will not be rendered at the plane where user has tapped so set the set child as the par parent anchor node and as transformable node is a child of the anchor node this will automatically be placed at the place where user has tapped now we will select the transformable node by calling transformable node node dot select and that's it you have written your first hello ar app we'll go through this piece of code again so what we are doing here is we are creating an ar fragment we are we are taking a reference to it to reference to uh, the ar fragment which is in the activity main file we are setting our ar fragment on tap ar plane listener so whenever user taps on the ar plane which gets detected by the ar fragment and remember this 
this plane can be anything it can be a horizontal plane or a vertical plane so whenever user taps on this this function gets called and using the information which has been stored in the hit result variable we are creating an anchor what's an anchor an anchor describes a fixed location and orientation in the real world this anchor can be used to render our 3d model on top of it now we have our anchor so we are creating our model by writing this piece of code and we are accepting the model renderable and then we are adding the model to the scene in the add model dot add model to scene method we are creating an anchor node and we are uh, an anchor node based on this anchor the anchor which has been created due to the tap and that's it about the anchor node so we cannot actually move the anchor node or increase its size or decrease its size so to achieve increasing the size and decreasing the size we are using a transformable node so this line of code instantiates the transformable node we are setting its parent to anchor node so it will automatically position itself to where anchor node has been placed now we have created the nodes so we are adding it to the scene by call by writing this piece of code and in the end we are selecting our transferable transformable node so i hope you understand all of this and if you don't then you will in the further apps that we are going to create so do subscribe to me to become an ar expert and also in the next video we will test our hello ar app till then bye